Hi, my name's Kristen. I am a full-time artist and I make art full-time in my one bedroom apartment. My studio is basically just this space in between my kitchen and my living room. I thought that I would show you how everything is set up. It's organized in a way that makes sense to me and works for my practice right now. I think it's always interesting to see how everyone has things set up for their own preferences and their own studio practice. Yeah, let's take a look around. The way that I kind of think about the space is that this desk area is like the work space. So I try to keep it as clear as I possibly can. And then on the other side, I have my storage. So the storage side is like where everything has a home. And then this side is where I work. So I pull from that side and put things back over there when I'm done with them or try to. The most important piece of my studio is this desk. It is from FlexiSpot. This video is not sponsored, but they did send it to me. It is like automatically rising, which is so handy. I think if I had a standing desk that I had to like manually pull up, I wouldn't use it as much in the standing position, but it also has these like automatic setting functions so that whenever I hit this like little standing person icon, it automatically goes to my height, which is really nice. And it's really sturdy which is good because I do a lot of scribbling on this desk. My chair is just this random dining chair that I found on the street and a pillow that I like to sit on sometimes. Under here, I have this little wooden crate. I have two of these and I use them in my art market setup. There are just prints and some pom-poms in here. The pom-pom garland is like part of my table setup. Underneath that, I have this box, which is filled with recycled, rigid poly mailers for prints that I get from Eco Enclosed. I have this little table, which is actually a nightstand from Target. And I have this little felt bucket, which has my scanner and a bunch of random cords. And this is my like doom box. So whenever I don't know where things go, I put them in here. Uh, right behind this thing, there is a power strip and that is where I have my computer and everything plugged into. On my desk right now, I have this glass panel that is actually just from a picture frame that broke. When I'm making these little polymer clay magnets and bolo ties and things, I like to put them on here because it's really easy to pick up all the pieces at once without having to like scoop them into a pile or whatever. So if I need to move this off the desk, I can just like grab this whole piece of glass and move it. It has the added benefit of protecting the desk. I just recently got this Mun Bun printer. It is a thermal label printer for printing shipping labels. I didn't do a ton of research. I just bought the one that seemed right and it's been working great. I have this lamp slash uh, overhead tripod, which is from Canvas. It is a really great lamp. It's not the best tripod. It really only just holds my phone. If I ever am filming overhead shots with my camera, I use my actual tripod that you're on right now um, and just put it behind the desk so that it is flat over the table. Something kind of tricky about flat lay shot is that if you shake the desk even a little bit, this shakes so much and I don't think there's really a solution to it, but it is handy to just like clip my phone in here if I'm gonna film like a quick shot from a TikTok or something and I need my hands free. I didn't really clean or anything in preparation for this video, so this is a very good representation of what is typically on my desk. There's just like my AirPods, some cuticle cream, a lighter, this kneaded eraser, my lens cap, and some Aquaphor. This is UV resin. And then I have a bunch of colored pencils and all my favorite pens and stuff in these little jars. If things are not out, I forget they exist. So my organizational scheme is very much based on that principle. I need to see everything or else it doesn't exist. Okay, and then we have my iPad. I just have this standard 10 inch one with the like old school Apple pencil that plugs into the USB port to charge it. I have major beef with whoever designed that. Um, come to my house and let's fight. But yeah, I use my iPad and Procreate to make all of my stickers and any digital illustration for client work. My iPad is pretty much always out. And I use this stand from CabCon. I got it on Amazon to hold it. It's like sturdy enough that you can draw on this like a drafting board. And this jar of dehydrated oranges. I use this little magnet board as kind of like a mood board slash inspiration board. So I have some postcards and stuff that I really like the look of over there. And of course we have Bob Ross himself. Here we have my pegboard. It's from Ikea. It's really nice to have. 
this vertical storage so I keep all of my gouache. This is a jar of dried up acrylic paint that I scrape off of my palettes so that I don't have to throw that away. All of my brushes live right here and then I have three of these big Strathmore sketchbooks right here. Again, if they were in a drawer, I would forget they exist. I also have this respirator mask that I use every time that I have to use glue or UV resin. It's just really important to protect your lungs. And it's pink, so that's kind of cute. Inspiration things and a color wheel over here. I actually use this color wheel all the time because whenever I'm mixing paint, I'm like, how do I desaturate? I have to use the opposite color. What is that? and it really helps to have a color wheel up. Up here we have like earring findings and my tarot card deck, some art from artists that I like, and my trout painting is up there too. Okay, and then up here I have this little shelf. I'm pretty sure it's from either TJ Maxx or Home Goods, and it is mostly decorative, but I will show you what's on it. This bottom shelf houses a bunch of these little air plants that I love, and this little lucky cat. This cute little box from Arizona. This is Slippery, he's a seal, and then this is my bee that my friend Riley got me. And this cute picture of myself from when I was a child drawing in Tuolumne Meadows. I just love this picture so much. I want to be her. I am her. She is inside of me. And then on the top shelf, I basically just have some plants, this Monstera cutting, that blue thing is a corner rounder, those cute little vases which are from a local art market, and that easel that is basically non-functional. Our apartment is pretty bright right now, but uh, it is the morning time and these are east-facing windows, so it is not always this bright, so these twinkle lights are definitely very much needed and utilized and appreciated. This is my toaster oven and my microwave. This is where I microwave my cold coffee all day long when I forget to drink it. There might even be cold coffee in here right now. There's not. <laughs> and then I have one of these, you know, art girl carts. Every art girl has an art girl cart. So on this side is like paint that I don't use that often. And then I do have this little caddy with like primaries of acrylic paint that I actually use. And then I have this little toolbox. This toolbox is from Blick. I really like it. I take it to figure drawing with me every time that I go. Go to a figure drawing class every Monday and it has all of my charcoal and pencils and pastels and stuff in here. It's kind of nice also to be able to put all of this stuff away to clear off my desk so that all my pens and stuff aren't on my desk. So I'll just grab this if I'm working in my sketchbook and I want to play with my colored pencils and crayons and stuff. I have this stack of canvases and my drawing board with a big sketchbook on it and some just unused frames and things that don't fit anywhere else. I have these classic Ikea Alex drawers that I feel like every artist also has and they have them for a reason. They're really inexpensive and very handy for storing things flat. One thing though that I do have beef with is like these are on casters, the wheels, and this one didn't come with casters but they are not the same height. Like, I feel like they should be the same height, but they're not, this one's much shorter. Yeah! On top of the Alex drawers, I have this table that my partner brought to our relationship. I don't know where it came from. It's just like this nice little table that somehow fits perfectly over the top of my little Alex drawer setup here. I use these two square, flowers came in these like from the grocery store but they are perfect for paint water because i'm not tempted to take a sip out of them because they're not like mug shaped if you are like me and you have a problem with drinking paint water you should get a non-cup shaped vessel to hold your water and then i also have this little uh brush cleaner thing in here that i got from blick i don't recommend it it's not bad it's just like it doesn't do anything, I don't think. Here I have my like gouache painting set up. So I have two of these butcher block. I always say butcher block. They're butcher trays that I got the big one from Blick and the small one from an antique store and a little cloth that I use while I'm painting. So that lives right here just because I need it out and accessible, but I don't need it on my desk because I do other kinds of things. Like I'm making these magnets right now. So they're away, but they're not like away, you know? I have this little dish drying rack thing from Ikea that I use in my market setup to have prints on it. But right now it is holding my sketchbooks and some stickers and things. If something is in a stack, it's really hard to get to it and I don't see it as like being functional. So having these here has really been helping me 
actually use and utilize my sketchbook, so that's good. I have this little bucket that has some fixative and spray paint in it. I use this wooden crate to house all of my shipping supplies. I do buy like new shipping materials, but whenever I get a poly mailer or like bubble wrap, I put it here because I reuse those things. So if you ever get a package from me and it kind of looks like uh, recycled, that's why. <laughs> so I have this little tripod here that I use sometimes and this little flower press that my friends got me recently for my birthday. And then this box has more rigid mailers for prints. Okay, and then we can just quickly go through the organization of these drawers. This is like my tool section. So I have sandpaper, staples, uh, paper clips, a calculator, some wire, stuff like that in here. This drawer, I have a bunch of cash for art market change stuff and then some tape. Uh, sticky notes, rubber bands, and some ink and watercolor that I don't use that often. In this drawer, I have all of my stickers for my like sticker shop. It's kind of chaotic, but I just have all my stickers in here. My entire shop setup used to live in this little basket. Isn't that crazy? So life has changed a lot since then, and I'm sure it will continue to change, but this houses all of my stickers right now. It used to house all of my envelopes, all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. And there's some uh, greeting cards, some envelopes that I use for order packing. I think of like this section as like my shop order packing section and less of like my art making section, if that makes sense. I have some more poly mailers and some bags that I use to package my prints. And underneath that is these cardboard chipboard backings that I put in the back of my prints. This is kind of a random drawer. It has a bunch of paper that I have handmade and uh, my thermal labels. These deep drawers are really nice for just like hooking whatever you need. These little hooks and things belong to my grid wall that is in the basement right now. In this Alex drawer, I have all of my pens, Posca markers, watercolor palettes and some extra pencils and things. I don't use these materials very much, which is part of the reason why they're in here and part of the reason why I don't use them because I don't see them and I don't think about them. So they're just in this drawer. This drawer is all of my cardboard. I am a cardboard hoarder and I use it for many different reasons. So, and that is personal. So I, I keep cardboard in there, flat cardboard. Here is more cardboard. Ah! That should go in here, but it's kind of overflowing. This drawer is another flat one where I keep um, some finished artwork and stuff that can't be rolled up. So there's finished gouache paintings and things that I haven't listed for sale or are like not done yet in here. This drawer has all of my block printing supplies, some ink and some rubber. There's also randomly a sketchbook in here and this palette because they don't fit anywhere else. I have all my carving tools and some ink and blocks that I've already carved and some brayers that live in here. This drawer I think of as like my craft drawer. So there's beads, there's polymer clay cutters, there's like macrame cord and a bunch of embroidery floss and things that are not necessarily like part of my art practice, but that I use sometimes just like for crafting for fun. And then at the way bottom here, I have paper. So there is all of my watercolor paper and some printer paper, random loose paper that isn't in sketchbooks. That is my entire art studio. Um, it's not very big, but there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm really grateful to my partner who is willing to forego a table, like a dining room or a breakfast table, which I think is the intended purpose of this nook to be like a dining space, but it is not. It is my art space. Somewhat related to this video, I have a whole video about my favorite art supplies. So if you want more in-depth like opinions and things on what I use and why I chose to use those tools, there's a whole video about it. I will link it in the place. I think that's it. I hope that you liked this video. I hope it was interesting in some way or enjoyable to watch, or you just had fun spending time with me. And I really appreciate you. I get the nicest, most like kind comments on YouTube. 
So if you want to leave a comment, that would be awesome. Otherwise, maybe just like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, yeah, I hope you have a really great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.